Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to download and install MySQL software into Windows machine. In order to download MySQL software, just open any of the browsers and go to Google and type MySQL download. After this, just click on first link, MySQL downloads. Come little bit down. So here in the bottom, we could see MySQL community, GPL downloads is there. Just click on this one. Next, we need to select MySQL installer for Windows. So here we could see there are two download buttons. We need to select the first download button here. The version is 8.0. Just click on this download. Here, no need to log in or sign up. Just click on no thanks. So here the software is getting download. Okay, once the software is downloaded, just click on this arrow button. Click on show in folder. So this is the software we need to install. Okay. Now the execution file is ready. Just double click on MySQL software. Just click on yes. Again, click on yes. So now the software is getting installed. So here there are a lot of options like developer for deport and server only, client only, full. So here we need to select custom option. Then click on next. So here click on MySQL servers. So here we need to select MySQL server 8.0 and you need to pull this one. MySQL server 8.0 64-bit. Just click on this button. Then we need to select in applications like we need to select MySQL Workbench. In order to select Workbench, we need to select Workbench 8.0. Then we need to select MySQL cell. So here we need to select MySQL cell 8.0. So these are the three softwares it is required. It's like MySQL server and MySQL workbench and MySQL cell. Then click on next button. Click on next button. So now it is showing ready to download. So we need to wait for some time. Also here we have a button like execute. Just click on execute. So now it is downloading here. Once everything is downloaded, we need to click next button here. 
So after this, we need to click on execute button. So here we can see it is installing. Okay. So now the progress it is showing 40% or 50%. So we have to wait for up to 100% for all these three softwares. SQL Server is completed and now Workbench is installing. It will take some time to get it installed. Wait for a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, just click on next button here. Again, click on next. So here, no need to change anything. So the port number is 3306 only. Just click on next. Again, we need to set a password. Okay, just click on next. So here, you need to set a password for your account, okay? After setting a password, just click on next. After that, click next. So here, if we execute this button, okay, we need to click on execute. Here, everything will get change it into green color okay it's like it is going to configure all the things just wait for a few seconds once everything is done just click on uh, finish button So this is the shell and this is the workbench. So the shell means, so if you want to practice anything by using command prompt, we are going to use uh, shell command prompt. So this is the workbench. So if you want to, it's like an IDE. So if you want to connect with any database and if you want to work with MySQL, so we are going to use MySQL workbench here. So this is the MySQL workbench. So if you want to execute any commands, so here we are going to use SQL. So databases. Show databases is the command. So if you want to fetch what are the databases it is available in MySQL? So we are going to see. So here we have four databases available. In that four databases, so if you want to use any database, we are going to use the command is use command SYS. Now we are into SYS database. We are going to see how many tables were present. 
show tables is the command just select this command and execute this one so here we can see there are a lot of tables it is available so these are the system tables this is how we can use mysql workbench that's it for this video thanks for watching this